Hi, I'm Scotty. I service, repair and restore vintage and antique mechanical clocks. Welcome to Scotty's Clock World. I put all the wheels between the plates and I boil the movement. We're now going to put on the rack and pinion and the suspension spring and the pendulum leader. First we'll start off, the motion works. A piece there. Pop him on. That piece there is called the snail. This is the rack under there on that pillar. Fits down. Now this wire spring here has to go down into that hole, which isn't going to be easy. And then it hooks out back through there. Get that to pull out straight first, hopefully. Right down through the hole. Catch it. Bring it back up again and turn it round. Right, that'll provide a little bit of positive pressure on the rack. This on. We've got a circlip to put on each one of those in a second. So I'll turn it round. Get one of the circlips, tiny little things that they are. That's it there, and it has to go on to that pillar there. Use a set of pliers to push it on without losing it, and there we have it. Now we'll do the other one. Lucky I didn't lose that. Pop that on there. Pair of pliers again. Very carefully clip it in. Okay, rid of that. We'll oil those in a moment. Before we do that, we'll put the spring on that retains that piece under pressure. I 
undo the nut. Slides over there. Nut back on again. Then we'll tighten the nut down. Always very handy to have a small set of spanners that you can modify to fit the individual nuts on your clocks. I've got about a dozen and a half of them specifically for different size nuts. Okay, got pressure on it, holds it in, and that. We'll set the snail a little bit later. So, what we'll do is we'll put turn that round that away so we can see it. The suspension spring in. And close it up. In. Out a tiny bit for it to go in. That's better. Now. Drop it down. That's got him. Right. We'll oil those two in a moment. Right, we'll put a drop of oil on the new parts we've just put in. On the rack. On the, on the cannon arbor. I'll put a tiny little bit in behind the spring. There goes our oil bottle. Now I'll hang that up on a test stand so we can start to set up the other pieces on it. This is the rack hook right here. That pin, when you put the gathering pallet back on before you hammer it down to keep it firm, that pin has to fall.